see if I can try and get this car out. Yes, you can laugh at me. I set off from Nature's Valley towards Wilderness, a small village town located on the garden route. Coming up to Plettenberg Bay. So that's Plettenberg Bay. Sedgefield. So I've just come out of Nisner and it's not even 20 minutes later I'm in Sedgefield. I mean everything does look a little bit mm -hmm, with this weather but it's actually also beautiful. Very very beautiful. So I've turned right towards Wilderness Ebb and Flow Rest Camp, another South African national park. The wilderness section of the Garden Route National Park is situated close to the N2 Highway, 15 kilometers from George, 2 kilometers from Wilderness Village, and 450 kilometers from Cape Town. There you go, Garden Route National Park Wilderness. You should have that in your lounge. This is the reception area. Gotcha safely. Thank the Lord. I've splurged out on a rondavel, which is a round house, and um, it's even got an ensuite bathroom. I am going to live in luxury. This is a, a whole separate camp. Okay, I've booked here for two nights. Just me. All alone. Nobody else, just me and the guinea fowl. Okay, I am solidly stuck. I cannot find the laundry and I wanted to reverse so that I could get to the security gate to ask them where the laundry is. And now I'm solidly stuck. I'm going to use one of these yoga mats that I bought. I'm going to put one under each wheel and see if I can try and get out. I tried to get my car out using the yoga mats because I thought I was so clever. It did not work. My car is still stuck and I'm soaking wet now. Soaking. So I finally found the laundry and I put my clothes in the laundry. Yeah, it's pretty desolate here. There's nobody here. It's just little mold me. This old Gigi stuck in the mud. That's it. They're the, the geese. The geese are keeping me company. Hi, guys. I've got some, I've just added for some pizzazz, some habanero. Yes. I totally forgot that my dear mother, bless her, gave me sambal or like heaven. So that's exactly what I was looking for. I'm going to throw some of this on my gorgeous meat. And she also provided, dear mum. She knows her daughter. She knows I like it. Yeah, yeah my. Have a little cucumber with that. Mm. I can't believe I'm actually traveling on my own as a woman in South Africa. Yeah. I've always done things a little bit differently. Push the boundaries a little bit. It is scary. It's super scary. I also know that I need to do it. I need to do it for myself. I want to really live. I want to really live. And that can be uncomfortable at times. Really uncomfortable. Here I am, in the middle of a roundhouse in a place called
called Worldliness in my own little car and I'm just going from day to day and that's what I'm doing. I had a fantastic sleep in my vehicle, much better than in here. Because of the mold on the roof, I couldn't really breathe. So. I might have slept well, but my car was still stuck in the mud. So I had to make a plan. I didn't know what to do. And I was not going to phone the towing company. Let's see if I can try and get this car out. Yes, you can laugh at me. I did put a mat here. So let's see if it catches some traction now that it's a little bit drier, which is overstatement of the year. I am not giving you anything. You guys didn't even help me last night. No, at least one of you could have pushed. Trust me, I tried everything. Rocks, mats, yoga mats, shrubs, but Gigi wouldn't budge. Um, one of the sand parks rangers came and came past and I was like, stop, stop, you need to help me. Now safely parked over there. The havoc I left behind. Now I need a good coffee. I want to try this and I do not have a grinder. Yeah, you can make noise, I can also make noise. I've ever done that, needs must, as I like to say. Oh, now you're quiet. Now you're all quiet. Mm. Boom. So now that I've ground my coffee beans, old school style, I'll put it in here. Okay, doesn't look great. I'm not hopeful. Everybody's got it. You've got to try. You have to try. And then when you, you know, you've tried, then you go, all right. No, no, that doesn't work, or that doesn't work, or it needs improvement. That's all. I know that bed rolls. That stuff to survive. This, my friends, is life. Life couldn't be better. <laughs> Cheers. I couldn't sleep here last night because of this beautiful black mold and I mean I'm a New Zealander I know what black mold looks like okay I've experienced it so I phoned the reception and they're amazing um, um, auntie Wendy she just said to me no don't do it girl just come pack your goodies up and we'll put you in a cabin so I'm gonna sleep in a log cabin tonight yay bye bye hut 38 I'm leaving the North Camp and um, saying goodbye. I didn't really get time to explore this area, but there's nobody here. Nobody. It's really beautiful. It's all along the Tow River. Going to a new part of the camp that I've not seen. Got a new cabin. Auntie Wendy sorted me out at reception. She's amazing. And those are all the cabins that, that they have. 
Once I had unpacked all my gear and my wet clothes ready to dry in the cabin, I decided to explore the area a little bit. So I headed off to the Woodville Big Tree as well as the map of Africa. Just come into a place called Hookville. Hookville is a beautiful village located just inland of wilderness. This beautiful village, surrounded by the local farming community, lies in the crook of the Toes River. The village is perched above the coastline, offering beautiful scenery of the ocean, lakes, and Otaniqua mountain range. Okay, this is the Woodville Big Tree. Yeah, they graded this I'm going to go on the Woodville Big Tree Meander. All right, let me go. La, la, la. The Woodville Big Tree Meander is a clearly marked path which leads into the forest, crossing a stream several times. Many of the trees are labeled, so one can identify them. This is a circular trail extending about two kilometers. It's a very easy walk unless it's been raining for quite some time and you're wearing the wrong shoes, which I was. The Garden Root National Park is home to yellowwood trees that have been around for more than eight centuries. This Otenikwa yellowwood tree is a huge, tall tree that is about 31 meters high and is believed to be over 800 years old. Girl, you look looking good. There were other walks and hikes that I was able to do at the Woodville Big Tree in and around that area, but because of the fading light, I decided I would to just quickly see the map of Africa and then I would do the walks the following day. This is quite a climb up to the map of Africa. And I'm really glad I offloaded all my stuff. I had deflated my tires, but clearly not enough. And I was a little bit afraid that if I did get stuck, a tow truck would take many hours to reach me. Please keep going, please keep going, please keep going, please keep going, please keep going. Please keep going. Thank you. High up in the hills of wilderness, along the famed garden route, lies the map of Africa. It is a spectacular viewpoint offering a unique sight, quite literally, a map of Africa. And over the years, as the Caymans River has flowed through the lush landscape, it has created a distinct shape of the outline of Africa. And from a certain viewpoint, you can clearly see this mesmerizing wonder. This is the spot where paragliders take off from, over the coastline. Even with the fog, you can't hide the splendor of this place, can you? Okay, I've seen the map of Africa. Tick. Now I'm heading back. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going through that big, muddy, boggy thing again. God. Okay, whoa, okay, right. Oh my word, you're doing the right thing, guy. Just keep going backwards because you will get bogged in like nobody's business. Whew. Okay, no, I'm that's it. I'm solidly done. I'm going to go to the petrol station and get some air out of the tires because that will create a wider footprint and just help prevent Gigi from getting stuck.
Having seen the Woodville Big Tree and the map of Africa and slip and sliding about, I decided to go into Wilderness Village to stock up and also get some dinner. So I've got my water and I got it at the local grocery store. Very nice place. I'm hydrated. I am hydrated. Perfect. Wow, I've just had some dinner in Wilderness Town and now I'm going to get back in my car and go back to the campsite. I had dinner and then um, took a wrong turn and ended up on the highway into the night on this very very windy path and we're having load shedding at the moment which is really um so is is dark is dark i eventually found my way back to the camp and also bumped into sia who tried to help me last night to get my car out hello sia <laughs> Yeah. So did you get this car out <laughs> this morning? Jason pulled it out. Yo, we struggled. Yeah, it was bad. Yo, yo, I was wet yesterday. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. So it was yo, 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 yo. After chatting to Sia for quite some time about our previous night's adventure in the rain uh, with Gigi, um, I got to the cabin and it was delightful. That's the night sounds. The frogs. The Tow River runs right past this. I used the time in the cabin for this one night to air out my wet clothes and my wet gear that had become sodden over the last few days of my travels so that I could prepare for living in my car the next night. <laughs> 